Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today is all about using OSD Builder with PowerShell to create a Windows Server 2019 reference image. So let's get started. So first things first, I am doing everything within a Windows 10 environment. So I'm going to right click on the start menu, go to run, type in WinVER, hit OK, and I'm running it within a version 1903 build 19002 on Windows 10. Okay, so hopefully you guys can follow along. Uh, first things first, we're going to click on start. I'm going to start typing PowerShell ISE. I'm going to right click on it and run it as an administrator. I'm going to get the user account control. I'm going to click on yes and it's going to start loading up. Okay, so once your PowerShell ISE is loaded, we're going to run the following command. We're going to do an install dash module uh, dash name OSD builder and we're going to give it a parameter of force and we're going to run that. It's going to start installing the OSD builder within your environment or within your machine. And once that's completed, you're going to get a notification like this completed. Good thing. And the next following command that we need to do is import it. So we're going to do an import module with the name of OSD builder. And again, another parameter of force run that guy and pretty short and simple. Now I downloaded a windows server 2019 eval ISO. It's free. I think you get about 180 days. So I just wanted to do testing and uh, I downloaded it within a folder called BTNHD underscore ISO. I dropped it in there. I went back inside my PowerShell and I created a, uh, a variable and it's a dollar sign ISO underscore path equals to the, the location of where the ISO is located and the actual name of it. Okay. Then the next command that I ran was mount this image and uh, the parameter of dash image path and the path of where the ISO is located. Again, I created a variable, so I called it out, which was dollar sign ISO underscore path. I ran that command and it's gonna mount it and you're good to go. Now, when you run the command, make sure you select the variable. So as you can see on the screen, I selected the line five, six, and seven, and I ran those two, those two uh, command lines because if not, if you just run seven by itself, it's going to say, where the hell is that variable dollar sign ISO underscore path. So once you run it, it's going to mount it and then you should be good to go. Now the next command that we need to run is import dash OS media. We're going to run that. It's going to start mounting and importing the operating system. And it's going to give you a nice little window. From here, you're going to pick your index or your Windows Server 2019 flavor. So again, you, you get the standard. Uh, standard eval with the desktop experience data center or data center with the desktop experience so pick the one that you want i picked index 2 which was the windows server 2019 desktop experience it's going to start running and starts importing the os media and once it's completed you're going to get this now the next command that we need to do is new dash os build task we're creating a task sequence it's just like mdt or nccm and the task name is going to be, for me, was BTNHD Windows Server 2019 eval with NetFX3, which was the .NET framework, and uh, another parameter of dash enable NetFX3. So we're going to run that. It's going to start doing this thing. You're going to get a dialog box to pick uh, the media type, which was the OS import. Uh, select it, click OK, and it's going to start doing this thing. Um, and once it's done, you're good to go. Now the next command that we need to do is create a OS build. Then we're going to run the following command of new dash OS build with the following parameters of dash download dash execute dash by task name, open and close quotations and BTN HD windows server 2019 eval with net FX three, which is the same name that I gave my task name, run that guy. And it's going to start creating uh, or start the process of your OS build. Now, this process took a while. I kind of left the virtual machine running overnight and I came back the next morning. And once it's completed, uh, it, you know, it's going to give you all this information. It's going to give you log information that you go in. I did have some issues with some of the Windows updates. I think I had issues because I'm using an eval ISO, but it's okay. It's just for testing purposes. It's going to start mounting and creating the Wim image for you. It's going to start running. It's going to start doing all kinds of things. It's going to grab all the Windows updates for that particular server and push it down to that image. Uh, and then once everything's completed, and if you look above the prompt, 
uh, it should give you an output file location of where you can look at the log files to see where it error out or where you could go in and start fixing for me again I had a lot of issues with a couple of updates because it did not want to push down and I'm assuming it's because I was using a Windows Server 2019 eval ISO so who knows uh, and the last command that we need to do is new dash OS media ISO so we are going to take the the original ISO with the updates compress it into one ISO and this the, I, this is basically the file that we're going to use to import it within our MDT or within our SCCM environment so once you run that again this process does take some time it took between 15 to 20 minutes for me and uh, you're going to get a nice little dialog box when you get the dialog box the one that you want to pick is the media type that says OS build that is the one that you're going to pick that's the one that we kind of uh, enabled .NET Framework as well as push out all those Windows updates into it. So once you select that OS build, click OK. Once you hit OK, you're going to get this command prompt. Just sit back, relax, or go get a cup of coffee. Eventually when you come back, everything should be done and it should take you directly to your PowerShell command prompt and the script is done. You could go back inside the OS Builder folder that it creates for you. So that's actually located inside your File Explorer or your C drive. And inside your C drive, you're going to see a new folder called OSD Builder. Click on it and you're going to see all the folders that this script uses to import, export, create its task sequences and everything inside this folder system. Uh, the place that we need to go is inside OS Builds. You're going to see the Windows Server 2019 or whatever you're using. Double click on it. And within here, we're going to double click on ISO. Once you're inside the ISO folder, you're going to see your custom reference image of your server. Uh, we use server 2019, so that is our reference image. How cool is that? And that's basically we enabled .NET Framework and we pushed out all the Windows updates for server 2019. And you would take this file, import it inside your MDT or SCCM, create a task sequence and push it out to everyone. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. Make sure to hit that thumbs up and also subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.